Hello, hello. Yeah. One, two, one, two, one, two. There you go. Hey guys, good evening. Hi teacher, nice to see you one more time. Here we are again. Glad to have you here. Okay, so let's go guys. Tonight, what are we gonna do tonight? How's it going, Juan? Um, I feel good. I feel good. Great. Everything is all right, okay. Good, I'm glad to hear that. What have you been up to? What? What have you been up to? What have you done today? So, okay. I guess Edgar said hi. Okay, Janet, good evening. How are you? Good evening. I'm so well. Somewhat. Excellent. Okay. Edgar. Kike. Hi, Hi. teacher. Hi. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening, Edgar. How are you? How's it going? Uh, how are you, teacher? <laughs> I'm doing great. What about you? How are you? I'm, I'm good. Thanks, God. I'm glad to hear that. Kike. Okay, Salomon. Are you? Yep. Hello, teacher. Hi, Salomon. How's it going? I'm uh, fine. Uh, all day fine, but uh, I stayed in the world. Uh, um, a lot of stressful, but I I am happy. So your job was a little bit. Stressing, uh, more or less. Uh, this this these days, for example, the Monday is very stressful. For example, Mondays are very stressful. Okay. Very stressful. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that, but well, oh, because of the end of the month, right? Because September's ending. Every yes. every okay every every month closing is very stressful. Great job, Salomon. Okay. Okay, Nuria. Hi, Nuria. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. What about you? I'm great too, teacher. Okay, great. I'm glad to hear that. Today, guys, we're just going to check the last topic of your uh, platform of the um, section three, section three, last topic. And then we're going to work together on a listening exercise and the midterm exam. Okay, so let's start doing this. Yesterday we talked about ordering a meal. Can somebody give me an example of how you read that conversation? Okay, no volunteer, let me choose a victim. And again, there's a the chicken. Okay, let's go. So let me have let me have someone here reading the conversation. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. Madeline, hi, good evening, Madeline. Hoy resulta que no me sirve el micrófono. Ok. Come on, Marilyn. Turn on your microphone. You can do it. Ok. It's not working. Good. Ok. Let me have... Hmm. Sofía. 
Hi, teacher. Hi, Sophie. Can you please read the conversation for us with Marilyn? Yeah. On, there you go. So May I take the order? Okay, está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Sí, ahorita lo busco acá. Perdón. It's okay. Ya, 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 ya. ya. Qué buenas noches, me <laughs> Ok. Go. Start? Yeah, please. Okay. May I take your order? Yes, I would like the lamb work. Mm -hmm. Voy a meter a WhatsApp que no miro bien. Okay, no, no le escuché, teacher. Mm -hmm. Sí, dijo, Daddy. yes, I like the lamb kebabs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I help you? Oh. Can I help you? Get it? Okay. Yes, yes please, try it. All right, and would you like a salad? Yes. yes. I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I would like a large iced tea, please. Perfect. You see, it's very simple. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Marilyn. Nice try. Okay, that was good. You see, I hope you practiced. This was a, a simple conversation. And now let me just check with all of you. So let's move on. That's out of the class, okay? That doesn't have to do with the uh, platform. So let's continue. On your platform today, we have to talk about something else. Give me one second, I have to close this. So after learning how to order food and the pronunciation, let's continue. What's next? We have, we have model verbs, would and will for requests. Just the way Janet did a few minutes ago. She said, can I help you? You see, that's using a model for requests. Can somebody give me another example? No. Okay, no volunteer. Let me select a victim. <laughs> Okay, Janet, what's your favorite color, Janet? Oh, my favorite color is black. Black, okay, let's see who's wearing black tonight. Kike Escobar is wearing black on his screen. <laughs> <laughs> There's nobody there. Okay, Kike, give me an example of model verbs on a request. Uh, I don't know, teacher. You, were you with us yesterday? Yeah, but I don't remember. You don't remember. Would you like me to remind you? Would you like me to remind you? That's yes. An ex it's an example, you hear? That's an example. Would you like me uh -huh. to remind you? Okay, yes. try it, try yes, it. Yes, yes. <laughs> that was the example, Kike. Okay, you have wood plus Subject plus like plus the infinitive of the verb. So you have the formula on the screen. Can you try to replace, for example, the subject and the verb and the complement? 
Uh, for example, uh, would you like some dessert? Perfect. Would you like, now we're using some there, some dessert. Is that okay, guys? What do you think? Would you like a dessert? Still, where is the verb? Would you like... Would you like to eat a dessert? Perfect. Would you like to have a dessert? Would you like to eat a dessert? Would you like to order a dessert? Mm -hmm. okay. To order, to eat, to would jump. You, so, would you like to dance? I was thinking about that. Who's that? Uh, Richard Gere. Who you like to dance? <laughs> That's a good movie. Jennifer Lopez, right? And Jennifer, I mean, Richard Gere. Old movie, okay. Uh-huh, somebody else? I nice. love it, Richard Gere. Yeah, Richard Gere is a great actor. Good actor. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Elgar, can you give us an example? Hi, teacher. Would you like to go to the beach? <laughs> yes. I would like to go to the beach. Definitely. Eleonora. Um, Okay, I think she's having some internet. Teacher, uh, how do you say comer fuera? Would you, would you like to, to uh, eat out? No. Perfect. Okay. Would you like <laughs> to eat out? You, you know it. Very good. Would you like Thank to eat you. out? Excellent. Would you like to eat out? Excellent. Okay, now let's see a different model. Teacher, I yes. have a question. Yeah. Could I say, would you like to get out to eat something? Get out? To get out to eat get something? Get the get? Get out? Would you like to get out? Mm, yes, grammatically, it will be fine. It sounds weird. Would you like to okay. get out to eat something? Because that sounds like if, if you're in jail, when you were in the cárcel, I'd like to get uh, out. Okay. Let's get out. Get out okay. of here. Let's get out of here. Como escapar un poquito, eh? El get out. Salir de acá. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. De hecho, es un imperativo. Get out. Get out. Salite para afuera. Right? Okay. No se dice así. Okay, good. <laughs> so, in this example, guys, you can use would for requests without a WH. Or you can use it with a WH, what would you like to eat for dessert? And there's a formula. Okay. okay. When will you leave the house? When will you leave the house? When will you leave your parents? I think. Okay, Edgar, try it. Hi, teacher. Yeah, try it, Edgar. Um, <laughs> WH question. Mm -hmm. What is a WH question? Come on, everybody, tell me the WH words. One, two, three. What, what, who, where. When? When? Um, how? Why? why? How? They don't how. Okay. Who? Who? Yeah, también. Where? Yes, sir. Which? Which? That's it. When? Yes. It is done. When? Okay. Remember, there are complex. How come? What there kind? Are what kind? There are complementary WH words. So what time, how long, yeah? Why? Why, ya, ya habíamos dicho why. Son siete. 
Ok, pero hay complementos como how long, how, what time, what time, and etc. How much, how much. Ok, good. So, now Edgar, try it. Use a WH with wood. Let me, one second. Sorry, guys. Night night. Rolling. Okay. So Edgar was trying to build a question. Janet, try it. A different WH question, not what. Um, where would you like to go? Perfect. Where would you like to go? I like that. Where would you like to go? Okay. I want to go to the beach. I want to go to the beach. I would like to go to the beach. Yes. Okay. Very good, guys. Now, always remember that if you are asked with a WH question, you have to answer with the auxiliary. I would like, just the way Janet did, what would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? I would like a soft drink or I I like a soft drink. Do you remember the contractions of wood? I, Jude, he, she, it, no, it, it, no. Okay. Dave, with, you got it? Yes. Okay. And that's the way you make the contraction, you see? The apostrophe and the D. Any questions? No. Okay, good. How many are we? We are 18 already, good. So we're, we're only missing 10 minutes and then we will move on um, to practice with the platform, the exercises and the homeworks. So your mission is to build just three sentences using wood or models for requests, okay? This one now. Right now, I'm going to split the class and in teams, you are going to build the sentences, okay? Okay. Let's do it, guys, you can do it. This is very simple. Okay. Three sentences, come on. Good Hello, evening. everybody. Hi, Nuria. Hi, Nuria. Hi, how are you? Would you like to see a movie? This is like the, first, the first. What would you like to do exercise? Yes, I would. Ese sería la respuesta, ¿verdad? Ocupando would. Sí. Yeah. yeah, we can answer. I think the better is um, make some statements using moral verbs or would. <clears throat> Para Somebody else? Would you like to ride a bike? 
Yes, I would. Okay. Hola. 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 Dijo tres oraciones, ¿verdad? Sí. Hello. He said three sentences, right? Yes. <laughs> English, you guys. Come on. These are basic words. Come on. Okay. Why? Uh -huh. So, yes. Three sentences using modals for requests. With WH question, teacher. If you want, if you want, you can do it with a WH question. Okay. Necesario, o sea, uh -huh. solo tweet, solo tweet, do you like uh -huh. tweet? Pupusas, ok, tweet, pupusas, uh -huh. do you like tweet, pupusas. Uh -huh. Do you like tweet, pupusas? Would you like to visit the, the lake, tal vez? Te gustaría visitar el lago. Would you like to visit the lake. A, lake, a lake? A lake, mejor, un lago. Un mejor. lago. Okay. Would you like to visit uh -huh. a, a lake? lake. Un lago, cualquiera, para ya no tener la playa otra vez. Hagamos otra cosa. What about WH questions? When, How many? when would you like to visit mm -hmm. the lake? Mm -hmm. Why would you like to okay. go to the lake? Okay. Mm -hmm. Try okay. it. Try it. Okay. La la estructura de cómo usar la estructura de would you like? Por ejemplo. Por ejemplo, para preguntas, es W question, plus food, plus subject, plus like, plus infinitive, verbo infinitivo, más el complemento. Por ejemplo, would you like coming? Early to the class, for example. I don't know. Okay. Thank you. Por ejemplo, ¿qué te gustaría, digamos, por ejemplo, llegar entrando a la clase o algo así? Would you like <laughs> coming to <laughs> coming to early to the class? Okay. Son, son tres ejemplos los que vamos a dar, creo, pero no sé si en grupo o tres cada uno. No entendí. Make as many as you want. The thing is that you need to practice. I'm thinking. <laughs> Come on. 
can do it. Okay. Would you like to give it a try? Um, would you like to go to see a movie? Would you like to go to see a movie? Yeah. Now, what about the WH? Um, who, who would you like to go to the movies with? Who would you like to go to the movies with? Um, I would like. Like who would you like to go to the movies with? I would you like to go. I would like to go with Pedro. With Pedro, with Boris, Juan, and Salomon. Okay, there you go. When? When would you like to go to the movies? Um, tomorrow at night. <laughs> tomorrow night. Very good. Tomorrow at night. Tomorrow night. Okay. Good job, guys. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. 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 Another. Otra. W. WH. Eh, veamos. Vamos. Yo había estructurado una. When would you like it out? Okay. La, la que dijo del ejemplo. Sí, ¿verdad? la que di el ejemplo. Cabrón. Okay. When would you like to? To? It out. It out. Thank you, teacher. Sí, no se les olvide que el infinitivo ya. Lleva el to antes del verbo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Teacher, ahí está todavía. Yes. <laughs> Queremos, quería consultarle si estaba bien estructurada esta oración. Where would you like go to shopping? No, no sé, tú dime, como dice el meme. <laughs> Falta algo y se los acabo de decir. Where would you Ajá, like to go? Sé. To shopping. Where Ajá, would you to, like to go? To shopping. shopping. To go to shopping. Sí, ah, eso okay. es lo uh -huh. que pasa. Eh, un momento. Eh. Shopping no es un verbo. No necesito el tú antes. Entonces, where would you like to go, to go. shopping? Ah, ok. To go shopping. Okay. Eh, que tenía... Uh -huh. <laughs> y la otra que tenemos es, what would you like play? To play. Mm -hmm. To play. <laughs> you got it. Very good, Lamir. You understand this? Uh -huh. Esa parte es la que hace falta. Very good. Why, why would you like learning English? Hmm. I see. Why would you like to learn English? To learn English. No más apropiado es to learn English. Why would you like learning English? Okay. Excellent. Se puede también learning, pero no hemos visto eso. Oh. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thank okay, you. Okay, very good. Good job. Okay. Only three, three, uh, three examples. Uh, uh, examples. Ah, okay. Thank good you. Good job. Very good. Okay. okay, let's go back. Okay. Okay, I'm just waiting for the rest. Are you tired, teacher? Nah. No. No. Do you like play guitar? I like to play the guitar sometimes. sometimes. What kind of music do you like? Uh, Pearl Jam rock. Uh-huh. Grunge. Grunge. <laughs> 
and a uh, little bit of the Beatles. Pearl Jam, yeah. that's what I really like. Okay, Metallica, but I try, mm -hmm. I try. I'm not good. Mm -hmm. I'm not an expert. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. I want you to give me the sentence that you built and you were like, oh my God, this is a great <laughs> sentence. Uh huh? You are in the class wrong. <laughs> oh, al revés, al revés. Okay, backwards, backwards. Uh -huh. You're in the wrong class. <laughs> You're in the wrong class. Really? Okay, Kika, give me your example. Uh, yes, I try. What kind of music would you would you like to listen? Perfect. What kind of music would you like to listen? Excellent. Okay. Sofia, hi. Good evening. Didn't see you. Didn't see you before. Mm -hmm. Juan, Juan, can hear you. <laughs> For example, I I would like it's mm -hmm. pie or cake. Cake. Okay, I will like eat cake. Eat cake. Right ¿Qué, fa now. ¿Qué falta allí? Alguien me puede decir. Like to. Ooh. Yes, I will like to eat. <laughs> Cake. Ese es error bien común en, este, en esta estructura, ¿no? Te puede faltar el tú, porque el verbo dice en infinitivo, y en infinitivo lo hemos visto como tú, y la, base, la forma base del verbo. Ok. Sophie, hi. Try it. Would you like to try? Would you like to try? Oh, soda. Okay, yeah. Would you like to drink soda? Yes. Would you like to drink tequila? Ta -ra -ta -ra -ra -ta -ta. Yeah, that's better. Tequila is, is, is soda. It's better. It's more. I prefer it's more whiskey. than better. Yeah, it's more nutritive, right? <laughs> than soda. That's right. Okay, good guys. Let's continue. So. Voy a moverme un poco al español ya, porque necesito dejar bien claro lo que vamos a hablar ahorita, ¿ok? Um, let's, vamos a hablar sobre su uh, plataforma. Usted debe de ir a la plataforma, ¿ok? Y en la plataforma va a encontrar ejercicios como el que viene después de esta clase, por ejemplo. Um, cada lapicito que ustedes ven ahí arriba, en su plataforma, es un examen, ¿verdad? A este punto... Hasta este día, ustedes deberían de haber llegado hasta el 3.3 allá. ¿Ok? Mm. Y luego, proceder a su examen de medio curso. Que es lo que sigue después de esta flechita que dice Next. Ok. So, vamos a ir uno por uno de esta unidad. ¿O, o tienen alguna pregunta con algún ejercicio de una sección previa? Estamos en la sección 3. No, 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 no questions. Ok, let's see. Vamos a ver el 3.3. Teníamos so, to, neither, and either. ¿Se acuerdan? Yes. Y luego, luego teníamos un knowledge check. So, I'm not crazy about French food, decía. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Ok. Mm -hmm. Juan, muy bien. I'm um, not either. Either. Ok. I'm not either. Ahora quiero, yo solo voy a hacer un par de ejemplos, no voy a contestar cada examen con ustedes ahorita. En este ejemplo, mucho ojo, eh. Mira, me han puesto el, el punto ahí. The period is already there. Yo tengo el period. Entonces no tengo por qué escribirlo de nuevo aquí si ya está aquí. Ahora bien, me tengo que fijar que esta esté en mayúscula. 
por ejemplo. ¿Ok? Punctuation. Los signos de puntuación son muy importantes para la, para la página web. Vamos con el siguiente ejemplo. I can eat any kind of food. I can eat it. Acuérdense de que estamos viendo so, to, okay. either, can either. So can I. So can I. So can I. Otra vez, tengo el punto ahí. Vamos a ver si esa es la correcta. Yo los estoy siguiendo. ¿eh? Yes, you got it. So can I. Se me están diciendo con quién. Contesto con quién. Acuérdense, la auxiliar. Very good. Hagamos una más. I think Mexican food is delicious. I am too. Okay. Think. So ¿En qué I. tiempo? ¿Perdón? So do I. Very good, Patty. Yes. Con la pena que le debo hablar. Ya ve que ya sabe. Okay. So do I, ¿verdad? So do I. Veamos. Mm -hmm. Mm, yes, ¿por qué do? Porque tengo una acción en presente simple y esta oración está en presente simple, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Good. A ver quién te está escribiendo. Por ahí vamos a ver, let's see. ¿Hasta cuándo tenemos para hacer el examen intermedio? Yo les he dicho que hasta mañana a la medianoche ya tendría que estar todo, todo terminado, incluido el examen intermedio. ¿Hasta cuándo, estaba... teacher? Hasta mañana a la medianoche. O sea, no es que hoy se van a desvelar. No. no, 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 no les quiero meter en ese aprieto de estar haciendo esto hasta la medianoche de hoy. Tienen hasta mañana a la medianoche para completar todo hasta el intermedio, que ya se los voy a enseñar. Ahorita vamos uno por uno. Ok, eso era so, to, either, neither. Y esta unidad solo tenía dos exámenes. Oh, no, aquí está el otro. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. 3.11. Now let's check. Read the following conversation. Choose between the options given. Waiter, what? Oh, good. I'm sorry, waiter. What? Well, would well. you like to order? Let's see. Why? Like wings. Okay. Can I okay. Hmm. Por alguna razón no, no quiere darle clic a submit. Anyways. Sí, es vuelve. What would you like to order? Okay. And then the customer replies. Baby, baby, baby. I would. Okay, I Have the fried chicken. Come on, guys. Okay. Okay. I'd have the fried chicken. Vamos, chicos. I'd have the fried chicken. Eso es lo más fácil del mundo. Okay. Now, let's go. A listening exercise. Listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did they order? Click the right choice. So, then you come here. Listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Hi, may I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar? Oh, yes, please. And you? I'd like a chicken sandwich, and I'll have some chips. Oh, you call them French fries here. <laughs> right, I'll have some French fries, please. All right, one coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with French fries. Uh, anything else? Yes. I'd like an iced tea, please. One iced tea. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of desserts do you have? Well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Ooh. What kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm. I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. Or I'll have some of yours. <laughs> Then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of French fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. Thanks. 
Okay, and then you just select. What did Rex order? Mm. Mm. Coffee. A coffee with cream and sugar, a piece no, of apple pie. pie. You sure? Yeah, yeah sure. No. Then he changed his mind, right? He changed his yeah. mind. He was like, mm, ah, yeah, one apple pie, a piece of apple pie. Okay, Hannah's order? The Iced tea. Chicken sandwich. Uh, chicken sandwich. Iced tea. Iced tea? Yes. Okay, it was in a hot tea, okay. Hot. Yes, that's the only one I'm going to give you. Okay. <laughs> now, when you, when you click on next, you see? You click on next, you have the midterm exam. You see? Eso es muy importante. A ver, si cuando le dan next en la 3 punto y algo que estaba, le tienen que dar next y les va a salir el midterm exam. ¿Ok? Y tienen que completar todo esto. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 exercises. They're not too long. No son tan largos. ¿Ok? Solo son como de 50 preguntas cada examencito. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? Okay. So the same exercise, listen to the conversation. Okay, mm -hmm. information one, the woman visited Hokkaido for the first time. Ahora quiero que pongan atención a esto. Eh, son detalles realmente que pudieron o no ocurrir en, la, en el audio. Okay, a veces se les prueba en cuanto a la identificación de escritura. Se pudieron haber escrito mal bitches, por ejemplo o women, en lugar de woman, ok, y así, en este caso puedes elegir hasta dos opciones, no solamente una, pero todo dependerá, let's you, todo dependerá de el audio que escuches, ok, eso es lo más sencillo, ok, hmm. siguiente, put the words in the correct order to make sentences, es lo que les, les quería decir, en este caso, ¿por qué aparece tantas veces lo mismo si solo es una oración? Can you give me the answer for this one, the first one? Somebody? It says, really, Seoul, Seoul is fascinating city. Ah, what is the right writing? Seoul is a really fascinating city. You got it, Edgar. Good. Now, question. Is there a period? Number two. No. I don't know. You tell me. What, Juan? The number six? The number six? Four, five, six. Six. So, let's look at the, re the writing of so. It's a really fascinating city. So, let's let's see what you have thought. Vamos lo que ustedes han pensado. Mayúscula. Seoul. Okay, se está escrito. It's a really fascinating city, period. I will say that's the right answer. Pero por alguna razón no me está dejando dar clic a menos de que termine todos los ejercicios. Ok. Good. Terminenlos todos, teacher. Sorry. <risa> Puede terminarlos todos ahí. Yeah. No hay pena. No. No es el punto. Vamos a ver. Teacher. Hey. Um, yo hice los ejercicios, pero no es que hay que completarlos todos, sino que hay que darle varias veces porque no responde. De verdad. El, el, Sí. No, lo que pasa, eh, Patti, es que yo solo voy llenando uno, pues solo para darles una muestra de cómo se hace cada ejercicio, o si tienen alguna pregunta, que según veo nadie tiene preguntas y el que cae otorga, ¿verdad? Ok, good. Recuerden que tienen que sacar un 80% para poder eh, pasar el curso, ¿verdad? Y este solo es el midterm, falta el examen final, de unos quedan dos semanas después de esto, ¿ok? So... De nuevo, circle the correct word. Eh, o oh, sí, en sí. este caso, seleccione. Yes? Eh, yo creo que la pregunta del millón y nadie se atreve a preguntar. <risa> y 
eh, este ejercicio, Ay. al igual que los otros, se va a poder hacer corrección o lo que saque ahí quedó. No, no, ustedes pueden volver a repetir el, ex, eh, el ejercicio o hacer las correcciones y darle submit de nuevo. Sí, se puede. Solo, solo una vez, ¿verdad, teacher? No, se puede hacer varias veces el, el, los ejercicios. ¿En serio? Uh -huh. Sí, eso es lo que nos han dicho hasta ahorita de, de IT. Eso sí se puede. Pero en este caso, eso es bien, bien sencillo, ¿no? Aquí estamos hablando de adjetivos. ¿Ok? Eh, verbos como adjetivos. Veamos. New York City is very exciting, but it's... Stressful. Stressful. Definitely. Veamos si me deja. No. Ok. No le puedo dar clic. Tengo Completemos que llenar, el otro. So. <laughs> Lisbon it's stressful. It's an interesting city. Uh -huh. And it's... Polluted? Polluted? What do you think, guys? What do you mean polluted? Um, poblada. Descontaminación, contaminada. No, nice. that's, po that's pollution. Ah, bueno, oh. sí, contaminada, perdón. Mm, pollution, polluted. Crowded es... Overcrowded, overpopulated, populated. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, pues sí, contaminada. Gracias, Nuria. Sorry. Polluted. Contaminada. Check. Check. So, what is Polluted. it? Polluted? Or noisy? Yes. Noisy. Beautiful? No, I think noisy. Hmm. It's beautiful. I would beautiful. say it's beautiful. And it's beautiful. Lisbon is an interesting city. And it's beautiful. Les recuerdo que but... Es de... Positivo en negativo. Muy bien, Janet, bien, Pati, bien. Después de but viene un pensamiento negativo, o sea, un contrasta, ¿no? Se contrasta con but. Ok, pero con and. Uh, unis, beautiful. Unis, both are, are positive. Both are positive. Unir dos ideas similares, ok. Good. So that will be the right thing. Tokyo, Tokyo. is a safe city. A safe city. Mm -hmm. It's crowded, though. Crowded. It's crowded, though. It's crowded, though. 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 Very good. However, and so on. Check. Okay. <laughs> good. <laughs> Next. Oh, my God. This is too easy. Complete the sentences with should, shouldn't, or can't. This city can be dangerous at night. You can't. It should. Should. Hmm. Can't. Can't. Should. Should. I'm using can here. This city can be dangerous at night. You shouldn't stay out too late. Podría ser can't. Y mira. Ahora, ¿qué es lo que no puedo seleccionar? Should. Si yo selecciono should, le estaré diciendo tú deberías estar afuera hasta tar muy tarde. Tú deberías estar afuera muy tarde. Mm, pero si es peligrosa la ciudad, o sea, no vea. Mm -hmm. So, this is multiple selection. You can choose more than mm -hmm. one answer. Okay? You, can tr you can't travel by subway late at, night, late at night. There are no trains after midnight. You should travel by subway late at night. Thanks. There are no trains after midnight. Okay? Sure. Can't. Okay. Sí, porque there are no trains after midnight. So. You tell me. Okay, check. Check that. Let's see. Match the problem with the advice. A fever. What would you, what would you suggest for a fever? Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Okay. For a sunburn? Try this lotion. Try this lotion. You should try this lotion. Hitting pads, you then just take some of Yeah. And so on. For sore muscles? Can you see another? Use a heating pad. Use a heating 
Tad. Great job. <laughs> See, you can do it. This is very simple. Okay, next. F, complete the conversations with bottle, jar, pack, or tooth. What do you have for a cold? Take this bottle. Bottle. bottle of vitamin C. Take one every day. Can there be a jar of aspirin of vitamin C? Or no. a pack? Of no, both. No. No, 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 just a bottle? Okay. Can I have something for drink for dry skin? I suggest this tube. Tube of hand cream. Yes, I will say so too. And that's as easy as that. Try this bottle, jar, pack, or tube of special toothpaste. Jar era the anterior? Jar green. Yeah. Jar is is a frasco. Mm -hmm. Jarro fresco, yeah. But yes, you can have a two of ice cream too, I think. And that's my point of view. I don't know. Okay. How uh, did you say pad? I, uh, the heating pad, P A D? No, pack. 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 Yes. Pack. Pack. Okay. And the last uh, exercise read the article and check four things people suggested. The writer should the writer should do. What will the writer the writer should do? Then you can maximize here. Isn't it amazing? You have a health problem and everyone gives you different advice. For several months I felt tired all the time. Some people suggested I'll sleep longer. I sleep longer. Okay guys. Tienen alguna pregunta? Inquietud. En este ejercicio de nuevo, lo que tienen que hacer es leer, hasta en español están las indicaciones, ¿ok? Y tienen que llegar hasta acá, ¿ok? Hacer todo esto en mirror term 3, 3, I'm sorry, eh, y luego, una vez le den next acá, pues ya terminaron sus exámenes, ya le dieron submit al final, si se fijaron, siempre denle en submit al final, ¿ok? Y ya. Ya okay. dejamos el 4.0 para la otra semana y el 5 okay. también para la quinta semana. Para la cuarta semana. Ok. Ok. Preguntas. Nos quedan tres minutos. Questions, questions, questions. Juan, do you have any questions? Um, no, solo tengo que tener cuidado. Ahora, como no se forcen a memorizarse algo, ocupen las cosas en contexto. Lo que les decía uh -huh. el primer día, ¿no? Agarré un cuaderno en blanco y empecé a escribir positivo, negativo, pregunta de esa estructura. Ok. I will like. Yep. Sorry, uh, ¿qué, ¿por qué dice, porque dijo que no se podía contractar it con el would? It, it, me sonó raro, it, it would, it would be. Eh, es, es, oh, no, sí, sí se puede. No se puede lo... Sí se puede. No, es que estaba tratando de pensar en un ejemplo, Patty. Wouldn't it be nice? No, wouldn't it be nice if we're together? Me estoy pensando en un, en un ejemplo en el que he encontrado it apóstrofe d, pero no se me viene ninguna mente. Gramaticalmente sí se puede, Patty, pero uh -huh. me, me refiero a que nunca he escuchado a alguien decir it, it would be right. Oh, bueno, sí, it would work. It would, it would, it would work. It would work. It would work. Okay, teach. Hmm. okay. It will work. work. Okay. Buscaré eso. Tengo que buscar más frases. Ok. Algo para decir, teacher, por ejemplo, para decir todo va a estar bien. ¿Cómo se traduce en inglés? 
Everything will be all right. Ese no podría ser un ejemplo de, de cómo lo que le estaba preguntando a Patty. It'll, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Sí, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Pero no lo notarías en la pronunciación. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Ok. Otra vez. It'll, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. La, it cuando, con el will. I see. It, it, it'll be all right. Ok. Bien. Si tienen alguna pregunta, me escriben. Yo con gusto, nomás pueda yo les contesto. Ok. Ok, okay teacher. Ok, hey, teacher. Thank You're you, welcome. Thanks. You're welcome, Salomon. Thank you again. You have a nice night. Good 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 night.